Hey yo, Major Fam, what is good with you guys? And welcome back to the channel, family. And we got a good one today, man, guys. I'm excited about today's movie. One of the movies that you guys suggested a long time ago, like when we started the channel. Today, for the first time, we'll be watching American Psycho. And I cannot wait, man. Like I said, guys, this is one of those movies that you guys have been, man, I don't even know. This is like when I first started the channel, man. I was seeing these, this movie in the, uh, in the comments, man. Like when I was doing, damn, this is John Wick. Like early, early, like the first couple movies I react to, this was in the comments. And I finally get to watch with you guys today. So I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Come on now, join the major family. Smash that like because it's free. Just smash it. It will help out your boy. And hit that bell so you guys are not missing future reactions. But yeah, let's do this, man. It's been a long awaited, man. Let's just jump into this movie. I'm excited. Let's do this. Crazy. That's major. Uh, uh. Millions on the table. That's major. Uh, uh. I turn dirt into... Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. Here we go. American Psycho. Let's get it, man. I'm excited, man. Ah, can't wait, man. Make sure you guys subscribe, man. Join the family. Smash a like, man. It's going to be a banger. It got it. Christian Bell, it's going to be a banger, bro. William Defoe. That's the Green Goblin? Yo, Green Goblin's in this? Yo, they got Green Goblin in this. Jared Leto, that's the dude who, uh, what did he play? He played in something. The Joker? He played something. I don't know who Josh Lucas is. Samantha Mathis. Yo, William Defoe, though. <laughs> William Defoe, Green Goblin, though. What's up, baby? What's up, Goblin? Let's get it. It's like some bougie shit going on. What kind of food is that? I'm still going to be hungry. I got birds back there. Stop playing with me, man. You got a steak? I want no damn leaf. Hungry back here. Y'all serving some leaves and shit? And a little raspberry on the side? Man, you gonna give me a, 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 a... Man, you better get me some real food. Oh, she bougie. She got gloves on eating? Oh, they bougie bougie. Reese Weatherspoon? Salad. For entrees this evening, I have swordfish meatloaf with onion marmalade. Rare roasted partridge breast in raspberry coulis with a sorrel timbal. It's the voice of reason. Boy next door. That guy looks familiar. Speaking of reasonable. Only 570. Not bad. I, man, I hope they start speaking English. Shit, they, I don't know what the shit they was talking about. Dressed like Prince. I like it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what you, I don't know what they was talking about. They gotta speak. They gotta speak some. They gotta speak English, bro. Don't be talking like that. So that definitely was a bougie ass restaurant. James Bond, 007. Oh my God! Look at this. <laughs> you see that man dance moves, bro? Stop it. Let me turn this down. It's a little loud about here. Do you see my man dance moves though? My middle. <laughs> you see me? You see me, girl? Yeah, you coming home with me tonight, huh? You like those moves, huh? Let me show you how I do it. Yeah, yeah. You coming home with your boy. Look at this dude. He like, yeah, you coming back with me tonight, huh? Yeah, you like that. She like, yo, if you don't, if you don't back that ass up. $25. You're a fucking ugly bitch. I want to stab you to death and then play around with your blood. What the hell was that? Yo, he crazy. He the psycho, ain't he? <laughs> he the psycho, ain't he? This man just snapped, though. But obviously, it was like he was like just thinking what he really, how he really feels, though. Because I feel like if she'd have heard that, she'd have been like, I feel like he was talking very loud. You can hear that. She'd have been like, yo, bro, get this man out of here. This man crazy as hell. No, that bed comfortable. That look like the uh, hotel bed. Tidy white I live in the American though. Gardens building on West 81st Street, on the okay. 11th floor. My name is Patrick of a Patrick Bateman. Some kind of abstraction. But there is no real me. Only an entity. Something illusory. I simply am not there. He carry his hell. But he rich as hell, though. He seemed like he rich, though. Top, he said, he, what type of floor he on? 18th floor or something like that? No. Probably one of them, yeah. 
one of them damn penthouse type joints. He he balling. Did he say what he does for a living? He gotta they, they gotta be like they gotta be Wall Street. Just looks like some Wall Street shit. Ain't nobody going to dinner with suits on. Well, yeah, it is, but look like some Wall Street shit. Aerobics class, sorry. Any messages? Ricky Harrison has to cancel. He didn't say what he was canceling or why. Do Occasionally, a corner Bob's office. At the Harvard Club. Second Anyone terror? else? Spencer wants to meet for drinks at Foodies. Pierce, oh, you don't like this, I take it. Come on. You're prettier than that. Thanks, Patrick. I'm not here. I see you. I'm high heels. I like high heels. Look at him, bro. Hey. Ain't no simp in him at all. Hey, I've been noticing HBO been tripping lately with my video. I mean, like, get, they did this with House of Dragon. It was like lagging a little bit, but it's good. They lagged a little bit. Come on, HBO, stop playing me. Okay, so maybe he's not a stockbroker. Not a stockbroker, but a uh, stockbroker. That that's stockbrokers are stockbrokers are Wall Street. It's not really you need to play play. If you don't shut your fucking mouth, I will kill you. I yeah. Now listen, I have a lunch. Bro, what the fuck is going on, bro? This movie, <laughs> what is happening, dude? Like, at first I thought. When it first started, that the girl in the bar, she didn't hear him. I thought he was just like, maybe just, that was just like, you know how some like movies be having like, somebody be narrating, like he's narrating the movie, but it's like, just like, they can't hear him, but he's just like still talking. I thought it was like that, but it seemed like maybe the girl, because she just told that girl, this lady, I'll kill you. She was like, whoa, like, and then like the, the sheets, they bloody like, hold up, bro. Did he murk old girl? And hey, you trying to clean the sheets? Just throw them away. You balling. Just get some new sheets. What the hell's going on? It's still crazy, bro. What? I don't understand you. This is crazy. You're a fool. I can't cope with the stupid bitchy. Understand? I just want a child. Whoa. Just two. Not when you like this, man. I don't think you should have no kids, man. Acting like this on drugs all the time. Look at her. Mm. Are we here? Yeah. What? She just passed. How, how, she. What? Are we here? Wow. Here still looks this good though. This is Yes, dear. Courtney, you're gonna. I think that'll follow nicely. Mmm. Thanks, Patrick. She is so lit that she don't even know where she's going. Oh, bro. He just read the order like they was at that last, the first place. The first place they was at, remember when they was reading the order? Like, the dude was like, whatever, whatever, and the first scene started? <laughs> My man just read it like that, though. But, like, that's not what they have it, dog. That is a crazy... This dude is wild. They had Barcadias, bro. But she is so fried. <laughs> she don't even know. This dude crazy. And then this dude is working. His dad is the, uh, whatever, boss, but he's working with Louis. Just messing with your, your, your fiance. You don't even know it. How impressive. Killing me with that bow tie, though. did you get a reservation there? Lucky, I guess. New card. What do you think? Ooh, vice president, though. Ooh, very nice. That Bryce prefers Van Patten's card to mine. <laughs> bro, this dude crazy, bro. You ain't seen nothing. Yo, what is... Yo, he tripping. <laughs> He's tripping. Yo, what did y'all do? Y'all all vice presidents or something? Very nice. Mm. Let's see Paul Allen's card. Something wrong? Patrick? You're sweating. Bro, this man just, <laughs> this is over a car, bro. <laughs> what is going on with this man? Still the straight bugging over a car though. What the hell? I know these dudes gotta, act, I, I know these people, I mean the other guys gotta know this shit ain't like, why they acting like this? They acting, they acting strange as hell, man. Out here. Oh, what a fucking loser you are. What? Hmm? Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, bro. 
Bro, he just whooped his ass and took and his shoe came off. He stomped him out in the shoe. Bro, he just stabbed my dude's shoe. And, bro, he, bro, this man shoot. Yo, he, bro, he didn't have to stomp the dog like that, bro. Bro, I gotta stop pausing it, bro. But he just stomped this man out. He stabbed him. He stabbed him so hard his shoe came off. Stomped the dog out. All this over a business card, my guy? It's a business card. You see that watermark? This man was shaking, bro. Oh, my, bro. <laughs> Oh, he bugging. Oh, he bugging. Beautiful skin you have, Mr. Bateman. So fine. So smooth. Thank you, girl. She's having dinner with um, Evelyn Williams. Evelyn. What is that? Great ass. Goes out with that loser, Patrick Bateman. What a dork. <laughs> Another martini fall. I'm so... <laughs> He's Patrick Bateman. What is going on here? It's I'm fucking lost, bro. This man thinks his name is Marcus something, but his real name is Patrick, and everybody knows his name is Patrick. But why does this guy think his name is Marcus? What is going on, bro? Is he like saying like he is he act? I don't even know, bro. <laughs> he is fucking wild. And the little the little Ivana Trump thing. What was that about? Like, what <laughs> is happening in this movie, man? I, I see they one up each other. Like, you know, they, they trying to be, everybody, they're trying to be better than each other. But damn, like, bro, and he got, he has newspaper under him right now. He has newspaper under him. So he is taking some type of pills. And my man just put a jacket on. He about to get dirty. He's been compared to Elvis Costello, oh, but I think he has a far more bitter, cynical sense of humor. Oh, this cat is tripping. Hey, yes, Alan? He is crazy as hell, bro. <laughs> he tripping. <laughs> bro, what's he doing? <laughs> hey, Paul! Ah! Oh! Oh! oh. God damn! Hey, bro, he crazy. Yo, this man, yo, this man crazy, bro. What the fuck? No, you not about to light it up after you just, yo, he. Oh my god. Damn. Just murk my man, though. That newspaper ain't gonna hold all that blood, bro. You need some, like... Bro, he is... Just like that, though? Out his... Right out his building. Ain't nobody even... With the blood, though. Where did you get that overnight bag? Bro. That is a freaking... A body in that bag, bro. And he... <laughs> what is... This movie is so... Bro, he just carried my man out and the freaking doorman didn't even say with the blood trail. Didn't even acknowledge it. Like... He just like, man, I'm getting a good check for being a doorman here. There is a moment of sheer you, panic. You ain't gonna get no gloves? When I realize that Paul's apartment overlooks the... Hi, this is Paul. Been called away to London for a few days. Meredith, I'll call you when I get back. Hasta la vista, baby. Yo, he cold, though. No, he did not just do that, bro. This man is on another level. <laughs> I was not expecting this to be like this, man. Y'all put me on to something wild as hell. <laughs> I'm so upset I should have been watched this. Damn, this is crazy. Yes, Gene. There's some Mr. Donald Kimball here to see. Just mulling over business problems, Looks examining like... opportunities, exchanging rumors, spreading gossip. <laughs> Hi. You know what I just realized? This part, this dude probably don't even do nothing at work, bro. He just listen to music, his sister all day. Don't do nothing because his boss, his dad's the boss. Man, well, this dude is, <laughs> he wild as hell, bro. And then he had like he was on a business call, bro. He was talking about tipping a stylist at a, <laughs> he crazy, bro. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, just busy, you know, spread rumor. Bro, he wild, bro. <laughs> he crazy. I paused I'm this dude like Kimball. six, seven times already, but it's just, Hi. I got to get it you. out. Nice to meet you. Sorry to barge in on you like this. I know how busy you guys can get. Well, there's a message on his answering machine that says he went to London. Maybe he did, huh? 
His girlfriend doesn't think so. But has anyone seen him in London? Actually, yes. Alive and then... Nothing. People just disappear. Bro, is this fucking movie crazy? What is... Opens up and swallows them. Bro! Eerie. Really eerie. Yo, what? Am I... I what the f*** is happening in this movie? Bro, my man is wild, yo. Yo, this movie is like... I'm still like... <laughs> I'm just trying to get it together with this shit, man. It's so much wild. Like, it almost like they playing games with me, man. Is it? Bro, I don't know, man. Dude, I know you playing, man. Stop. Bro, take this man to jail, man. That was so obvious that he had something to do. He knew too much about Paul Allen. I haven't seen you around here. You just haven't been looking. You'd like to see my apartment? I'm not supposed to. Want to come to my apartment or not? Who is she? Is she like a worker too? Not quite blonde, are you? More dirty blonde. I'm gonna call you Sabrina. Okay, so I'm Paul Allen. She's more like higher up worker than she is. She's off the street, and this chick is a higher up worker. Oh, man is checking his biceps out though. <laughs> this cat is wildin', bro. <laughs> Yo. Yo, he is wildin', bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this man is, I thought he was, I ain't even gonna cap, I thought he was about to mark him, bro. <laughs> this man ain't even sleep. I did ask that he was going to murk these girls, bro. If they have a good personality and they're not great looking. Girl, what is going I got to stop pausing it, bro. This movie is, I'm making this movie longer than it has to be, but this man is wild, bro. What just happened? He just messed with a hanger, though. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't doing it no more. I ain't, I ain't stopping. Well, just just say it. hypothetically, okay? What if? Because <laughs> the bed was bucket, though, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. There are no, no girls, girls with, with good, good personalities. personalities. <laughs> good personality consists of a chip one too. You about to die, bro. You dead. Oh, that's very nice, Lewis. It's all started with the business card. You about to die, Lewis. No, he about to murk him, bro. He got the gloves on. Lewis, you about to get it, bro. You should never brought the business card. Bro, you should never brought the business card, bro. You about to get it. You about to get it in the restaurant, bro. This man is tripping, bro. Oh, bro, you ain't even going to get the finish. Piss it, bro. You, if, you, if you shake it more than once, I mean twice, you're jacking it, bro. Put your stuff away. God, Patrick, why here? I've seen you looking at me. I've noticed oh. your. No, he, oh, he just puts his, oh, oh, he just touched his stuff. Then he put his finger on your lips. Oh, you, that's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. Six. You know the one you were wearing that red striped paisley on Monty Tye. But come on now, that was the most wildest stuff. My man was about to choke him. My man kissed his hand, and then after he kissed his hand, my man touched his stuff still out the whole time, and put his finger on his lips. Do you remember where you were the night of Paul's disappearance, which was on the twentieth of December? You went to dinner with him. I had a date with a girl named Veronica. That's not what I've got. What? That's not the information I've received. Detective, you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to tell him you got him. You're supposed to... If I don't see you before Easter... Have a nice one, okay? Whoa. 
about to she about to she about to you OD. Too. About to take some pills and kill herself, right? I'm making shit up. I always be doing that, but Bro, you're a terrible person, Patrick. I mean, we already know that. You should ask more questions. Like, why Why would she say that? But why, why would you say that, girl? What was going on with you? Why would you say that type of stuff? Why would not? Patrick don't care, bro. Patrick went there and got one off and got up out of there, bro. My man didn't even wash off. Where's the rag? The warm rag. Y'all are just, <laughs> they wild, bro. Bonus meat, meat, bonus, bro. All he said is bones and meat. Need any help? First of all, he don't do nothing at work, bro. Why are you in this position you in? You don't do nothing. And if I was you with them shoulder pad jackets on, that shoulder pad jacket you got on, get out of there. It ain't Jean. safe. Yes, Patrick. Get out of here, Gene. Would you like to accompany me to dinner? That is, if you're not doing anything. Um, no, no, I don't have any plans. Damn, Jane. You never did that. Why don't you meet me at my place at seven for drinks? Gene, don't go, bro. We want to change before we go out. He, he always shitting on your outfits, Gene. Don't do it, Gene. Don't go with this food. This dude. Whoa. Okay, girl. Patrick, it's so elegant. What a wonderful view. Bro, this Jean. man is. Oh my goodness. Sorbet. Whose head is that? Thanks, Patrick. I'd love some. Who head is that, bro? Is that the model's head, or it looked like the other girl who said the. Thought it was blonde, but it was dirty blonde. Do you want a bite? I'm on a diet, but thank you. No need to lose any weight. You're kidding, right? You look great. She is such great. a sweetheart. Fit. She do not deserve this, bro. You can always be thinner. Did you know that uh, Ted Bundy's first dog, a collie, was named Lassie? <laughs> Did you heard this? Who's Ted Bundy? Oh, girl. Oh, you about to get murdered. What's that? Duct tape. I need it for uh, taping something. He was about to, bro, he was about to tear bunny you. Bro, this dude is trip. Bro, Patrick? Gene, get out of here. Have bro, what, what do you got? Is that a chain? I mean, a freaking saw? A, for, uh, bro, this man has a fucking saw. No. A nail gun? I guess you could say I just want to have a meaningful relationship with someone special. Gene don't deserve this, bro. Patrick. Patrick. I know you're there. Pick up the phone, you bad boy. Gene, please get up and go. I'm sorry. I have no right to ask that. Yep, just, just get up out of here, bro. For this man snaps. Please, girl. Do you want me to go? Oh, she wants some of the bait, man. Yeah. Don't do it, Gene. Please. Do you want me to go? Gene, you just said yes. Yeah, just go, please. I think if you stay, something bad will happen. Gene, please I think leave. I might hurt you. I don't want to get hurt, do you? No, I guess not. Yes, Gene. There you go. He talking about something totally different. What you thinking? You're right. Yeah, go ahead, girl. Go. Yeah, go ahead, go, 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 get her, get her, get her, get her. Um, don't forget you have a lunch date tomorrow with Donald Kimball at Smith and Walensky's. Thanks. Slipped my mind completely. He was thinking about marking your ass and what he was going to do with your body afterwards, girl. He was about to pop her with the nail gun. Jeans out of there. Woo, that was close. Yo, this dude is wildin', bro. Evelyn just saves your life, Gene. This man was about the nail gunner, bro. His own secretary. This man is straight wildin', dude. Oh, he's meeting with uh my boy Goblin. The night he disappeared. Any new thoughts about what you did? I might have seen you at the restaurant. You sweat. Sure. Um, oh my god, it's too much. Shower. And some sorbet. I think you're getting your dick. He wasn't with Paul Allen. Who was he with? He was at Atlantis. With Craig McDermott, Frederick Gibble, Harry Newman, George Butner, and you. You his face, bro. All right, yeah, of course. 
It wanted Paul Allen to come, but he had made plans. Bro, he was already. Look at him. I guess I he was. Oh, he's about to break. He was about to break. Stay strong, Christy. Don't look at the money. Don't look at the money, Christy. You gonna need surgery. Don't look at the money. Don't look at the money, Christy. Damn it, Christy. That's a yes, yeah, a fat stack. Don't do it. Oh, girl, you think about it. You gonna need more than that for a surgery. But you do your line of work. You know you ain't got no insurance. Oh man, this ain't good, bro. Christy, he already wrote you a check. <clears throat> uh uh. Half now, half later. Door's locked. It's, it's okay. curtain. My name's Christy. I'm meeting a friend of mine, Elizabeth. She'll be joining us in my new apartment shortly. You'll like her. This is nicer than your other apartment. Oh, that's Paul Allen's real Not apartment. Wow, he's using Paul. He still got the keys. Oh, he is tripping. Where did you two meet? Oh, God. We met at, um... Oh God, at the Kentucky Derby in 85, or 86. Christy, run. Christy, run! Did you just bite her? You did. You should never have been doing all that. Oh my God. Oh! Oh my, bro, all the bodies in there! He's tripping, bro. Bro, <laughs> God damn. bro, oh my God. Bro, look at this dude. Bro, what the? Bro, you can't have. Oh, shit. Get shit, Christy. You bitch got the fucking face. You bitch, you bitch, track. Bro, he got all the bodies at freaking Paul Allen's apartment. Bro, what the fuck? Bro, this <laughs> Bro, this is so nuts, guys. This man, what the fuck? <laughs> chainsaw! <laughs> bro, this man is butt naked with the chainsaw, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> bro, what the fuck? Oh my god, bro. Bro, butt-ass naked running with the chainsaw. Look at him, bloodied up. Ah! Bro, he got her own bird suit. Is bro. This motherfucker crazy, bro. Yo, this motherfucker crazy. I want a firm commitment. Or he's drawing it right in front of her on the freaking table. Like that, the uh, chainsaw of a bitch, bro. Touch. Why? What's wrong? Bro, all those bodies. I didn't even know he killed all the people. I need to engage in homicidal behavior on a massive scale. Cannot be corrected, but uh, I have no other way to fulfill my needs. I need to talk. Bro. Talk about what? In New York City, in 1980s, a handsome young urban professional, Patrick Bateman, Kristen Bell, lives a second life as a gruesome serial killer by night. <sighs> Cast failed by Detective William Defoe, the fiance, Bruce Willis, the, the mistress, co worker, secretary. This biting comedy examining elements of a man and monster. Bro, I knew, bro, I, I was feeling bad for laughing at some of this shit, but like, it was needed, bro. Like, what in the, bro? <laughs> yo, y'all, dude is wild, yo. Touchy, touchy. I'm sorry I brought up the wedding. Let's just avoid the issue, all right? Now, are we having coffee? Just like that, she ain't even Fucking know. serious. It's fucking over us. This is no joke. Uh, I don't think we should see each other anymore. But your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. I really don't think it would work. Just leaving. But where? 
to return some videotapes. <laughs> Why he always keep using that line, bro? This dude is mad wild. Gotta return some videotapes. Yo, he's a bro. He's wildin', bro. Damn. Yo. <laughs> Yo, I felt so bad about the whole laughing thing, but I knew this was just read that man. I knew it was some type of comedy, like low key. This shit, he be wildin', dog. He did, but he got up with the chainsaw though. That is some, bro. That's crazy. Leave the kid, bro. Leave the little kitten alone, bro. Don't do this. Don't mess with that kitten. Don't. Bro, you, kid, you don't even know what he did to this dog, bro. He a town stomped it. Feed me a straight cat. See, oh my god. Where'd you get the gun from? Oh my god, what are you doing? Stop that! <laughs> Drop the weapon! Drop it now! Get on the ground! Where's the gun? Oh, he wildin', bro. What the f- What is- Bro, this man- What the fuck? He blowing up cop cars now? You a assassin, my guy? All that from that- That gun- Hell nah. Bro, what the fuck is this movie, bro? What is this movie right now? Look how he run. <laughs> Earning the midnight oil, Mr. Smith. Hey, now don't forget to sign in. Mr. Smith. Whoa! Oh, shit. He wildin'. He wildin', y'all. He is big wildin'. Yo, my man Wiley, yo. Bro, <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Yo, 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 this is... <laughs> what the fuck is this guy? Yo, he mopping everybody up right now, bro. He can't take it. This is what he said. He's, he's just overflowing right now. He's overflowing with just fucking craziness, dude. He can't, he can't help himself. Don't say nothing to him, bro. This man got so many names. You're my lawyer, so I think you should know I've killed a lot of people. Some escort girls in an apartment uptown. Uh, some homeless people, maybe five or ten. Um, what and the then NYU girl I met in Central Park. I left her in a parking lot behind some donut shop. I killed Bethany, my old girlfriend, with a nail gun. Uh, and uh, some a man of a sort of. I ate some of their brains. Oh my god. Oh boy. And then tried you to cook it. You crazy. <laughs> See, even try to cook a little tonight. I uh, <laughs> what is that ground beef? I just had to kill a lot of people. <laughs> and, um... He's fucking insane. He's insane, y'all. <laughs> He's fucking Lord, insane. I'm gonna get away with it this time. Bro, this man is crazy as hell, bro. Yo, man, this man wild, bro. He said 20, maybe 40, though. Hold up. I'm, like, shaking the table, the desk, whatever. Mike's moving over. All right, I think we good. No way he made it home, bro. And just shower like it's not like he just didn't do all those unspeakable crimes. That old lady didn't deserve that. Just popped that old lady with the real quickness. She was just trying to take out some money to put in her grandkids' uh, birthday card. This man is straight wild and popped the security guard. Mr. Smith, bang! The general, did, all he did is came off the elevator. This guy, look, he, he did a whole thing in the elevator. I mean, uh, the doors came back around. Did a whole 360. was like, oh, yeah, hold up. Pow! <laughs> Yo, this man is wild, dude. And how has nobody still found this man yet? Like he is just still rolling. Why is that door open though? Is that Paul Allen's place? 
think that's Paul Allen's place, y'all. Because that's how the door was when it, when it came in. It was like, kind of like that. My man stashed all the bodies at Paul Allen, dog. That is... Whoa, who cleaned this up? Whoa, what the... F who just... Bro, they cleaned it all up. Mopped it up. Bodies are gone. What is happening? Please. I suggest you go. Who the fuck is this lady? Who the hell is this lady? She cleaned it up. Who is this lady? What the fuck? What is... What the fuck is happening? Who cleaned... Who clean all this up? Yo, what the hell is happening? Bro, y'all. <laughs> this movie. You shouldn't take all them pills, bro. What the hell are you doing? What is it, Patrick? Are you all right? <laughs> sounding so fucking sad. <laughs> oh, what, what pills did he just take, bro? These pills he just took had him going crazy. He was already wild anyway, though. So I mean, it is what it is. Bro, the gene has something to do with it. Bro, the gene know everything about him, and she's gonna clean up his mess. I don't know, bro. I'm I'm just making shit up. But the way she just looked just now looked wild. Okay, she don't know. She she's just about to go. She about to spy on him and shit. She okay. She don't know about that. All that. I don't know why I even thought that. She did have this creepy ass look on her face though. What's PB? What's PB? And why would you keep that at the office, bro? Patrick Bateman. I'm tripping. I was trying to think what PB stand for. Patrick Bateman's diary schedule. Shotgun. Oh, he tripping. Oh, you didn't find out everything he be doing. He putting this, he been scheduling mercs in his planner at work this whole time. This is what I have today. This is what I have today. Don't go in there. Bateman, you're not ready. If you're not prepared for this, Bateman. You can't do this, Bateman. Don't do it. This dude crazy. <laughs> Yo, this movie is, I'm bugging right now. I killed Paul Allen. And I liked it. I can't make myself any clearer. But that's simply not possible. And I don't find this funny anymore. It never was supposed to be. Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not, you stupid bastard? Because I had dinner with Paul Allen twice in London. Just ten days ago. No, you... didn't. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, what the fuck is happening, man? Bro, what? What is... What? What? Oh, yeah, he crazy, Jane. So I'm guessing this is all the ways he murked people. He writes it down, obviously. We see it on the table. Jane, you better get out of here. You better hope Bateman don't show up. And they think... The Lord thought his name was Davis. Bro, look at that. The chainsaw girl again. Chainsaw, chainsaw. Bro, he is wildin'. Oh my god! Oh, he got something in the butt. Oh my god, he's slicing the butt holes. Oh, he's sticking brooms up butt holes. That's part of that girl, Christy, who needed surgery. There are no more barriers to cross. All I have in common with the uncontrollable and the insane, the vicious and the evil, all the mayhem I have caused, and my utter indifference toward it, I have now surpassed. But even after admitting this, there is no catharsis. My punishment continues to elude me, and I gain no deeper knowledge of myself. No new knowledge can be extracted from my telling. This confession has meant nothing. Oh, 
What the fuck is happening, bro? Guys, what? <laughs> oh my! How? 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 Man, my headphones begin stuck to my ear. Oh, what, guys? <laughs> what? Hold up. Let me turn my mic back. What the? F- yo, what did we just watch? Yo. <laughs> Uh, what happened to the bodies? They just what is like? Did the lady clean it up? Like the the lawyer didn't believe? Like he just got away with all this? Like he just went on a a killing spree and got away with it at all? I know them buildings got cameras in it. My man was just murking people. Blew up two cop cars with like four cops. Got away with it. Like carrying bodies out the building or. Is everybody else insane too or something? Like, is everybody else just like, just like and crazy as well? I don't know. Like, what? <laughs> I'm gonna say, that, but that shit was a great movie though. Krista Bell did a, that's, that's the ju- Justin Thro- That's the dude who was, yeah. I know I heard that name before. Yo, he did a great job though. This, this movie was crazy. I don't know, but the way he had me feeling, bro, this man had me like, he was uh, he was wild. He was phenomenal, man. This movie was damn. I see why you guys recommended this. This was like like I said, this was like in the beginning. I seen this a couple times in the comments. And what the hell, man? It just I, I don't know, man. What like I felt like yeah, Welcome to Far. I felt like he knew like is, is everybody just in this like a different reality or something? What's happening? This man is just murdering people. I don't I don't know, man. Maybe I need to do like more. I don't know. Maybe I need to do more like, I don't know. I just don't know, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't even know, y'all. I, okay, I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought about the movie, like, the whole thing. I, I'm trying to read something about it. I'm just going, yo, I'm just going to end it here, man. What a crazy one. I enjoyed this movie, though. Let me know what you guys thought. It was wild as hell to me, man. Like it had some moments in there that was crazy as hell. Would I watch it again? Probably not. <laughs> like hell, not. I probably would watch this again. I think Chris Bell did a great job of whatever he was. That psycho shit. Like he took that to the next level, bro. Like my man, that's the that American Psycho. That's what he was trying, and he he filled that role. Like he he killed it, literally. You know. So let me know what you guys thought. Subscribe to the Major Family. Just hit the like button. And put more in it, like suggestions in the comments what movies I should watch next. Hit the bell for future reactions. We're going to have polls going up soon so you guys can pick what movie I should watch. But I'm just going to keep banging these things out, man. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like always, you guys be safe out here. Peace.